Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can restore a missing part from an old photo using a free AI tool, especially using Gemini AI. So this is one example that I just restored using Gemini. This is the original photo and this is the restored version from Gemini. And as you can see, most of the details are, are well preserved and I would say AI is doing a great job at guessing what is the most likely content on, on the missing area. And I think Gemini does a great job at this. Now you might be asking, how about using ChatGPT? Isn't that more popular? Well, yes, you can use ChatGPT to restore a missing part from an old photo, but I still recommend using Gemini because the result is much more accurate. So just to give you a quick comparison, this is the original photo, this is the Gemini version, and this is the uh, rendition from ChatGPT. And you can tell that this is not the same picture anymore, not even the same person. And even though the picture looks HD, everything looks sharp, it's not faithfully restoring the original photo. So I think the result from Gemini is just much more authentic, much better than ChatGPT. So let me show you on how you can restore that using ChatGPT, sorry, using Gemini. Uh, let's navigate to uh, Gemini.google.com, that's the website. I do recommend to use Gemini, not using ChatGPT, but again, feel free if you prefer to use ChatGPT. And after that, uh, be sure that you are using the 2.0 flash model. Right now, it is the only model that is able to edit and create a picture. So be sure to select that. And maybe if you're watching this video in the far future where there is more uh, models in Gemini and that, that are able to edit the picture, then feel free to select that model. But right now, it is only Gemini 2.0 flash. And here for this demonstration, I'll try to restore this photo that I got from Google. I'm going to just right click and then copy and after that just go back to Gemini and I'm going to paste that into this area. Alright, now let's provide some prompt to Gemini. I'm going to this area. So basically this is the prompt that you can copy and you can actually check the video description to get the full prompt and I'm going to copy and paste it into Gemini. Okay, now space and send the message to Gemini. Just wait until it finishes. And it's usually a lot faster than ChatGPT. It is just a few seconds and now it is done. So this is the result. Uh, this is the photo that has been restored by Gemini. And I would say it's pretty close to the original photo and the facial expression is still there. The details are still there. And overall, it is able to guess what is the most likely content inside of the missing part of the picture. Now, if you're not quite happy with the result, you can always ask Gemini to do it again. You can click this button, the redo button. But if you're happy with the result, you can actually just download this, com uh, this picture to your computer and maybe you can use it as an album in your uh, book album or something. But basically, that's how you can do it. Now, there is something here that I think is worth mentioning. Gemini is quite restrictive at what picture that you can process with its AI. So usually you cannot use a picture that contains children, even though it's just a family picture, you cannot do that. Also a picture that contains a brand or logo or anything that could depict violence, you cannot use that. And also even sometimes just a woman picture, you cannot use that. So for example, I tried to restore this photo, which is just a bit normal picture of a woman, but uh, it's not able to do that. It's not the kind of picture that uh, it is able to modify because of the guidelines. And even though I don't think this photo break any guideline, but again, Gemini is very, very restrictive at uh, what, photo that, uh, what, what photo that you can uh, process with its AI. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But I'm hoping that in the future, it will be a lot smarter at detecting what is appropriate, what is not appropriate, so we can safely use it without actually having to deal with this issue. But anyway, that's how you can restore an old photo using Gemini AI. If you find this video to be useful, then please subscribe to this channel. It will help me a lot. And I'll see you on my next tutorial video. I wish you a great day ahead.